Welcome to Getting to Know You. I'm your host, Eman Tuzman Egan. And I'm happy to, happy to welcome you to this podcast where we get to know members of the Berkshire Hills Music Academy community better. Our guest for today's episode of Getting to Know You is John Libero, joining us via Zoom from his apartment in South Hatton. Before we begin our interview, we are going to have the pleasure of hearing John play Take 5 by Dave Brubeck on the clarinet. Enjoy. Welcome, John. Thanks for coming so much for coming on the show today. You're welcome. The community is looking forward to getting to know you more. I'd like to start with some questions about your time at BHMA. And if my questions are not clear, please do not hesitate to ask me to repeat. So here we go. I know you were in the first class ever at BHMA. Is that so? Yes. We would love to hear more about that. When did you start at BHMA, John? September 2001. Wow. What drew you to Berkshire Hills Music Academy in the first place? What, why did you want to come to BHMA? My mom was a co-founder. Co Do you remember anything about those early days? Can you tell us perhaps one or two special memories? Feel free to include a funny or strange memory also. There's only 13 of us. Wow. What do you remember? When you first opened the school. Is there anyone else still at the academy who was in the first class with you? Just Tori and I. Those are the only ones? Yeah. We're the only ones left. Do you stay in touch with some of the people who are in that first class and are not at BHMA anymore? Some of them. Like who? like Maggie Husseini and a few others. Do you enjoy that? Yes, I do. Now let's move from the past to the present times at BHMA. I know you play sax and clarinet. I also know that you're quite a skilled and talented musician. Can you tell us a little about why you enjoy about those instruments? I would love to know. Because they allow me to express myself. Can you tell us more? I can play all kinds of music with them and people love it because I inspire them. What kind of music? Like jazz, the classical, the pop, the rock. Do you have a favorite piece of music you play? Or my own man. John, I've been wondering about your practice schedule. Would you tell us how often you practiced before BHMA closed and our world changed? And what is your practice schedule like now? I practice regularly before the school closed. Every day? Yeah. And I practice every day at, and I practice every day at home. How long? Like an hour. No wonder you're so good. I also know that you are a troop member and regularly play with other musicians. What do you enjoy about playing with other musicians? That we all work as a team. Can you say more about that? I mean, we're going to house out problems while getting angry at each other. How have you improved as a musician because of being part of the troupe? Well, I've come a long way since I started. Can you give some examples? Can you play more complicated music? Yeah, I play more complicated music now, yeah. One of the wonderful things about your musicianship is that you not only play two instruments, the clarinet and the sax, you also play different styles, as you, as you have said. Now we are going to hear John perform a Baglatel prelude on sax by George Finzi.
And now a question that maybe no one has ever asked you, John. If you could play with any musicians in the world, who would you want to play with? Yeah, no way. Wow. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Why? Because I'd like the saxophone player in this band. Anybody else? Uh, Paul McCartney. It's a good one. Why Paul McCartney? Because he's a great singer-songwriter. I think it'd be cool if like, we jammed together. Yeah, that's that's good. That sounds great. What songs would you like to play with him? Any of them. They're all good. And if you could have anyone in the world teach you more about playing sax and clarinet, who might that be? Oh, that's a good question. Me and my teacher, Paul? It's a good answer. Anybody else? I'm not getting think of right now. Now, if it's okay, let's talk a little about life in these pandemic times, starting with changes at BHMA. While our day program has been closed, what have you missed mo the most about not being at BHMA? Being with my friends. It's a good answer. What have been your favorite parts of Zoom? See now I see now I connecting with all my friends online. Yeah, I liked how we see each other in class and stuff during the day. I see you in classes on Zoom sometimes. Like how we chat, like you and I chat sometimes. I like private, that. We do the private chat. Yeah. Do you have Do you have favorite Zoom classes? What are your favorites? That's self advocacy. What do you like about that? I'm able to advocate for myself. It's a good skill. And I, and I like the ring round table too. Yeah, I like it too. What do you enjoy about it? The way that it's read and sometimes that it's funny. The book we're reading now is good. What are you looking forward to the most when BHMA opens up again? Seeing some friends and staff I missed a lot. And now I would like to ask a little more about living through these pandemic times. Where have you spent most of these time these, time these past few months? At home in my apartment. Have you gone to your parents at all? Twice. I know you live in South Hadley because we are neighbors. Has South Hadley felt different to you in these past months? Yeah, it did at the beginning, but now it's gotten better. Because everything closed, but everything's now starting to back, open back up again. It's more lively now. Yeah, I can, I can understand. Has, any, has anything been especially hard or challenging during these, this pandemic? Not, be able to, not being able to see my family. That's probably for a lot of people. I wonder what has helped you make it through these times. Are there particular people who have supported you and what enjoyable activities have helped? Well, my friends have supported me. The staff at BHMA have supported me. What activities have helped? Taking walks and learning my cooking on my own. That leads me to my next question. Speaking of enjoyable activities, I know you like to cook, John. What have been some of your favorite meals to cook at during this time at home? Steak. Anything else? Chicken. How do you prepare it? I might grill. <laughs> when, it, when the pandemic is over, <laughs> would you make me some steak? <laughs> yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Now to switch gears again to some open-ended questions to help the community get to know you better. John, I know that you're a really good friend. What would you say is important when you are someone's friend? Honesty. It's a good Communication. One. Anything else? Trustworthy. All good qualities. I know you're that kind of friend. Yes. I asked you before if you could choose anyone in the world to teach you some music, who would that be? Now, I want to ask something similar, but a little different. If you could learn anything you don't already know how to do, what would it be, and who would you like to have teach you? 
Ooh, that's a good one. I'm not sure right now. If it could be anything at all, what would it be? Maybe playing the instrument. What am, what instrument would that be? Maybe the soprano saxophone. Sounds cool. John, is there something that you could tell us about yourself that people at BHMA might not know about your, about you? Could be something special interests or hobbies or anything at all. If I've been there longer than anybody else. Can you tell us more? Well, I'm one of the first people in the first class. What was special about being in the first class? That was I, I was able to open up the academy. That is very special. How has it been now? How has it been having all the other people come in now? It's been a little crazy sometimes, a little chaotic. If you had a magic wand, what would you change about BHMA? Bigger dining room. Why, why a bigger dining room? Because it gets too noisy and it gets too crowded. There's not enough space for everybody. That's a good one. Anything else? No, that's pretty much the big one. Okay. And my final two questions today, John, actually three. <laughs> Do you have a favorite joke or riddle to share? No. It's okay. You know me, I probably have a bunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that best of a joker. <laughs> I can do one. Okay. How did the monster protect himself from the beach? I don't know how. You put on sunscreen. <laughs> Good one. If, okay. If you had superpowers, what would you do with them? Be invisible. That's a good one. I would have chose that one myself. Why invisible? So I could be sneaky and nobody know where I am. I would have picked that one too. <laughs> where would you go? Where nobody can find me. Is there anything else you would like to share with the community before we close? I just hope everyone's being safe and doing well. And hope to see everybody soon when the school opens back up. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, John. It's been a pleasure to talk with you. I want to thank you for asking me to be on the show. It was my pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for listening to today's episode of Getting to Know You. I'd like to thank John again for taking the time to talk with us. Our theme song is Getting to Know You by Roger and Hammerstein performed by BHMA community member Franklin Nichols. Editing is done by Jacob Bernstein. Creative direction by me, Iman Tuzmanigan, with creative support from Mary Marcia Sani, Cindy Catuno, and my mom, Ani Tuzman. We are going to close the show today with John playing Boots Randolph's wonderful melody, Yakety Sax, along with members of the BHMA community happily clapping in the background. Thanks for, so much for tuning in.